One year ago, I reviewed the Talaria Sting, a competitor to the Suron X that couldn't quite beat it in any meaningful way. At the same size, build quality, and level of performance as the Suron X, it was difficult to prefer the copycat, especially at its slightly higher price point. However, only one year later, Talaria has just released a new model that could dethrone the Suron X. Introducing the all new Talaria Sting R. Yeah. Now before we jump in, you still have a chance to win my 70 mile per hour Suron, and I've decided if I like the new Talaria R, I'll give one away as well, but only if I like it. So stay tuned until the end of this video to see what I decide. Here we go. What's so exciting about the new Talaria Sting R is that Talaria is clearly listening to their riders and making improvements in real time. In just the last year, Talaria has made more improvements to the Sting than Suron has made to the X in five years. And at this rate, I wonder how competitive Suron will be in the near future. Now let's see what's new and improved on the Talaria Sting R. Right off the bat, the Sting R is now over 30% more powerful than the previous Talaria Sting or the newest Suron X, pushing eight kilowatts of power out of the box. Not only did they increase the power, they also increased the battery capacity from 38 amp hours to 45 amp hours. Even the motor has gone through meaningful upgrades. The new IPM motor design is now more durable and more resistant to heat increase and the gearbox mount has been modified to be capable of handling the higher power. It's rocking new suspension on the front and rear with newly upgraded brakes with 220 millimeter rotors and even a newly added rear rotor guard. They also included a new peg brace, clearly taking feedback from their off-road riders. The chain guard is now rubber, increasing its durability, and the chain itself has been improved to take higher power. The bars have slightly more rise, and even the breaker has been improved to handle heavier current. In just one year, the Talaria Sting has seen so many improvements that it's almost easier to ask what's not new rather than what is. With more power, more battery, and more robust components from the motor to the brakes to the breaker, the Talaria Sting R is looking really good. So let's take it for its first ride. Here we go. First ride on the all new Talaria Sting R. It's got this egg rider type display, which is great. It gives you a lot of control, including choosing from four levels of regen, which is awesome. I'm gonna start on the lowest level and I'm gonna start in sport mode. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa, that's more powerful than uh, the last Talaria and current Suron for sure. Feels like it's already upgraded here before I drain the battery at all. Let me do a top speed run here. Now I always just put the phone on my lap for this part. The last time I dropped my phone. Oh, oh I dropped my phone. So I'm using these uh, mouse mounts, which are actually really convenient. Check this out. Boom. So easy. And then you just take it off like that. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. I'll put the link in the description. All right, top speed run, eighth mile run right here. Three, two, one. Whoa, you can't keep the front wheel down. Woo, this is so much more powerful than the, than the Talaria Sting or the Suron X. Let's see what the top speed was. Very interesting. Top speed, 46.3 miles per hour. It feels a little more like 47, 48. Let's run it back. Three, two, one. This 
this is powerful right out of the box too okay there we go 48.5 miles per hour top speed that's that's exactly what it feels like but beyond the top speed it just feels way more powerful and let me let me try the regen settings here so now we're in the fourth regen level i wonder if you have to stop i don't really notice that much of a difference oh yeah it does a little bit Hell yeah, bro, E-Gang. You trying to race right here? Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh. All right, wheelie time. Yeah. Oh man, these brake sensors are sensitive, but that's actually another difference on the new Tolaria Sting R. You can just unplug the brake sensor like that instead of cutting it or tracing it back. I mean, you're gonna wanna trace it back and remove the wire, but that's nice. Whoa, okay, all right. Damn. Wow, this rides well out of the box. Well, I don't ride well out of the box. <laughs> Whoa, let's go. This is out of the box. It doesn't even need any power upgrades. Whoa. Oh man. Okay, the Suron X, to pop it a speed like that, you'd have to get your butt out of the seat. But this is doing it with just a throttle. This is incredible. There hasn't been a bike that performs like this out of the box since the Suron X. And it kind of hurts me to say that, Suron's my name. But out of the box, the Talaria Sting R is blowing me away. Oh man! It, it, it feels like it's already been upgraded. It's even more powerful than when you put the uh, 66 volt tri battery into the Suron. That gives the Suron about a 20% boost. This is supposed to be 30%. Wow, and it feels like it. Okay, I got lost. I'm having too much fun. We'll try to hit some dirt before the sun sets. This bike, it doesn't need anything. It just needs supermoto wheels. And like maybe some cosmetic things. But power wise, I'm so happy with this. It's, it's the power that these bikes should have been the whole time. And the motor is, Upgraded. It's an IPM motor with like a new all sorts of things going on inside of it Which makes me think if you were to upgrade this which it doesn't necessarily need at all But if you were to upgrade it the motor can certainly handle it and the ergonomics on the Talaria I mean if we are just gonna keep comparing it to the Suron X the the ergonomics are better on the on the Talaria the way that you hug the frame Pop the front brake sensor so I can do a burnout <laughs> So peppy off the line. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> ah. Yes. Okay. I so, so recommend this bike. Uh, if you were to look for somewhere to buy it, I believe it's only available from Lunacycle. And um, they did sponsor this bike to me, which is a really big deal for me just because I've always been sort of a Lunacycle fanboy. They're the first people to have introduced the Suron to the US and I bought my Suron from them used back in uh, 2019. And uh, it's also a big deal because they never sold Talarias until I think today. And uh, I don't know what that means as far as Suron stuff, but that's a big deal that Lunacycle is offering the Talaria. And uh, I've got to say, based on what I'm seeing right now, that's probably a good call because uh, Talaria clearly is trying to improve. They're trying to be competitive. And no hate on Suron, but they have not done anything in like five years. They did increase the amp hour of the Suron X battery, but you know what? Apparently that's because they are using cheaper battery cells. They couldn't get the original cells they've been using. So they used slightly cheaper ones that actually have higher capacity, but they're not gonna last as long or they're not gonna be able to handle the same kind of output. So Suron really hasn't done anything in five years. Now that does mean a lot about the bike itself, which means it didn't really need anything for five years. And I've got nothing but respect for Suron for whoa for coming up with that bike ahead of everyone but there's there's some new players in, in the game right now and they are not playing they're not messing around wow wow 
Oh my god, this thing is so fun. Usually when I get on a bike, I'm like, oh, imagine it when it's upgraded with more power. This bike, it really has enough power for the size. It's, it's what it should have been the whole time, basically. I, I've always felt like the Surround X and the Talaria Sting are underpowered out of the box, and that's why the uh, upgrading community is so prosperous, because these bikes are awesome when you make them faster. But the Talaria Sting R is kind of coming like that out of the box now. Let's try some more wheelies here. This is my favorite spot. Oh, my phone mount. Whoa, my phone. My phone fell off. Oh, shit. Where did it fall? No. These mounts are great. I just didn't screw it on tight enough today. No. I do not want to lose my phone. Probably when I hit that jump. Good thing this bike is fast. All right, come on. Yes, it's right there, let's go! Let's go! Oh, I was getting a little nervous. This bike is dope! The original Talaria Sting, my least favorite thing about it was the way the, the throttle felt. The control on the Talaria Sting throttle originally was super snappy off the line and then you got nothing after it. But now the throttle's like really butter. What's up, bro? Oh, you okay? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you as well. I'm just riding. Oh, yeah, dude, the Talaria R. What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, bro? Yee! <laughs> These guys are British. <laughs> They're literally just visiting. I met them out here last time. So in the world of stock, out-of-the-box e-bikes, I don't see anything beating the new Talaria Sting R in its class, which means I'm giving one away. Now I have to admit I made a mistake. In order to keep the Suron giveaway fair, legal, and legitimate, I'm going through a third-party service who recommended doing it for 90 days, which I quickly realized was too long, but it's also too late to change it. So here's what I'm doing. For the next 30 days, I am adding a brand new Talaria Sting R to the giveaway. What that means is if you try out a charged PEV bundle for my new brand, you get five times the entries into winning both a 72 volt Suron or a brand new in the box Talaria Sting R. There are now two bikes up for grabs, double the chances of winning. You can enter in the description below. Good luck. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay clean. Stay tuned. Yeah.